and welcome back to Get The Gloss. So today I'm going to talk to you about a bit of a spring clean for your skin. Um, how to brighten your skin, pep it up, make it look a bit more radiant. Because I don't know about you and if any of my friends and all my colleagues are anyone to go by, everyone is having a bit of a mare with their skin at the moment. There's spottiness going on here, dryness here, here, bit here, oiliness here. It's all going wrong. It's total mishmash. Um, I spoke to a dermatologist recently and she said it is normal and basically it's because the weather is fluctuating. It's cold one minute, it's hot the next. And then um, inside the house, you've got central heating coming on and off. You're having hot baths to try and keep warm and your skin is constantly flushing warm and cold. So no wonder we're gonna get issues. Anyway, I've got a few products here and a few sort of techniques that I think can help. One thing I would suggest not doing, um, and I know this from experience, is not overloading your skin, not trying too many products. So I think the more and more and more things you do to your skin, the more you can aggravate it. But one of the most important things I think we should all focus on is cleansing. Um, I think it used to be sort of 10, 20 years ago that we had to focus on the big cream that you put on your skin. But I actually think it's more important to focus on the cleansing and then apply a little bit of cream uh, and a little bit of serum and be selective over what you choose. Because if you don't have clean pores, it makes sense that the products won't go in properly. They won't be absorbed, they won't work properly, etc, etc. So you have to clean your skin of all the debris that kind of builds up. So, what do I do at this time of year? Well, I've recently discovered this. It's called a Foreo. Foreo or Foreo, I'm not sure which. You may have seen them. This is a mini one. They come in a bigger size. It's about 150 pounds. Um, Foreo is spelled F-O-R-E-O. -E and it is a cleansing device. It's an electronic device. And is meant to be 35 times cleaner than using one of those brushes, those electronic brushes that have become very popular in the last five, ten years. Um, it's made out of like silicon and the little, it has these little nobules on it um, and they're very dense on this side and they're slightly bigger and a little bit wider apart on the back. I love this thing, it's my new favourite thing. Um, it's been sat in my bathroom for ages and I thought, oh god, what's that? Another thing, another fad. But actually it really, really makes a difference. So you press it once, uh, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's buzzing. You can press it again. Oh, hang on. Yeah, and it, and it becomes a bit slower. It's less intense. And it basically vibrates, it oscillates. So all these little um, nodules work on your skin really fast. Um, and they shift out the impurities from in your pores. Um, also, because it's quite hard, so it's just a hard block under this, you can just feel like you can really actually sort of massage your skin with it um, and focus on the areas that are a bit of a problem area. Um, also, bacteria doesn't build up in the bristles, as it were, um, like they do in those brushes. And I have a bit of a problem with that because somebody once said to me, think of all the bacteria sitting in one of those brushes that comes off your face and then if you leave it in the shower and it all goes a bit manky ugh, horrible so anyway you can see this it's super clean and they are literally these nodules are probably three millimeters down three millimeters down so you can see any dirt you can just wash it so easily um this side is also meant to help with anti-aging apparently um so i'm 40 and if i start getting like younger if i start looking 35 Please let me know. Um, but what's really good is because of the shape of it, you can really get in, into the sides of your nose, here, under the chin. Um, you can sort of sculpt, you feel like you can sort of sculpt under the cheekbones. Really love this thing. And after a minute, I think it's a minute, it beeps to tell you that you should start wrapping up. Um, and then I carry on till it beeps again. Um, but 
It comes with uh, directions as to what to do with it, like how to use it. It's really good. Have I sold it enough? I think I have. Okay, I think it's about 150 pounds. Okay, another thing I do when I think my skin is looking a bit dodgy and a bit lacklustre is I basically use an exfoliator. One of the things I love actually, this has been around for years, but it's Bobbi Brown Buffing Grains for the Face. Um, it's an exfoliator, but it's quite gentle. And it's like a powder, I'll put it in the lid and you can see, it's like a powder, like this. And um, I think they're inspired by Japanese washing grains. And you put them in your hand, add a bit of water, and exfoliate, and it lathers a bit, and really leaves your skin looking really smooth, a lot cleaner, and a, just a better base for applying foundation. Another thing I've been into recently, which I never thought I'd actually do, is double cleansing. Now I know that sounds a chore because I'm not into complicated regimes at all. But what I do is I use Bioderma. You guys have probably heard of it. It's a backstage secret. Very good for sensitive skin. Won't upset your skin. And I use it to take off my eye makeup. It takes off, it takes off everything. And I use that all over my face. And then I use a cleanser as well. Because I just find then you feel like everything is removed. Um, Cleanser-wise, I've been using this. It's called Nutri-Define Foaming Cleanser by Jolique. Now, I really do like a foaming cleanser. I don't really like milky cleansers because I feel that something's left on my skin. I like feeling really, really clean. Uh, this has slight grains in it, so it's slightly exfoliating. Um, and I really do recommend exfoliating maybe once a week. Once or twice maximum, no more, because it can really upset the balance of your skin. Okay, and last but by no means least, there's a new range from Elizabeth Arden. Now, I'll be honest with you, I haven't started using it, so I'm going to use it, and then I'll report back in a month's time. It is a range that if your skin is looking a bit lacklustre, a bit dull, just you look in the mirror and you think, oh God, I can't bear the sight of myself at the moment. I know that feeling. And um, this range is all about working on illuminating your skin, making it glow, and I'm all about that. So, first of all, there is Skin Illuminating Retexturizing Pads. Now these contain 5% glycolic acid. Uh, don't panic. Glycolic acid, basically, um, somebody once described it to me as um, it helps sort of break down in between your cells, look, break down the dirt in between your cells, not your actual skin. Just break down the dirt so it loosens everything so your skin is able to get rid of dirt a lot easier. Um, and so it's exfoliating. It gets rid of all the crap, all the debris that kind of accumulates on your skin daily. Dead skin cells, dirt, everything especially if you live in a city. So anyway, I think you use these once a week. What, let me just see. Oh no, it says two to three times a week. Um, and you apply them after you've cleansed to clean skin, wipe over your face, and they should really start to brighten your skin. I will report back. Sorry, I haven't managed to use them yet. Um, I've, only, I've literally only just received the range, so I wanted to tell you about it. Um, and then there's a brightening day serum, and it says it has advanced MIX concentrate. Now, I don't quite know all the details, so I'm just going to have a quick look at the press release. It contains MIX concentrate, which is a potent blend of vitamin C, which is also very brightening for the skin, and niacinamide. Encapsulated together, it is able to target and minimise the occurrence of dark spots, sunspots, redness, uneven skin tone, and it leaves a toned and brighter skin surface. Okay, and then for nighttime, there are these brilliant skin illuminating capsules. And um, Elizabeth Arden are quite famous for their little capsules. So these are literally, you twist off the end, and you apply one per night. Um, and again, sorry, it's very hard to know all the ingredients in everything. So uh, again, this contains their special MIX concentrate. Sounds like something that a secret agent would use. Um, and it also contains niacinamide and vitamin C, which help exfoliate the skin. And it's like a, um, like a very soft sort of serum. You can barely feel it when it's on the skin. You use that at night, again, to brighten skin. 
and leave it really glowy and fresh. And I think this is a great time of year to start using uh, this range because, um, as I said, as we're coming out of winter into spring, our skin definitely needs a bit of a spring clean. This range is gonna be on counter from April. But I hope that helped and um, keep watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to Get The Gloss TV. See you soon, bye bye.